Okay guys, I was down at JJ Customs today and when looking in their short course truck section, of which they've got quite a few of, one caught my eye right at the top here and it is a low seat 22S Maxxis SCT short course truck. Now, when I read the spec to you of this, you're going to see why it caught my attention. Well, first up, it's under $250 and second up, it's got a 3,300 kV brushless motor and thirdly, it's got a Spectrum 6 channel receiver complete with AVC for 250 Okay guys, well I don't have a short course truck at the minute, but this low C 22S Maxxis SCT has definitely caught my eye. The thing not only looks eye popping, check out those tri treads as well on there guys, but it's just a, such a huge bang for the buck, under $250. Uh, complete with brushless motor and AVC, but what do we think of that body guys? They even got realistic mud guards on there. I review a lot of cars guys, get to look at a lot of different stuff and I'll tell you, it, when I've taken the body off this thing as we'll do in just a second, this most definitely has caught my attention. I think it's huge value for the money, very very lightweight and pretty well built as well. Anyway, let's get that lid off. Well, starting at the front, guys, we've got a really large impact bumper, which actually gives as well on there. It's a two-wheel drive, but we've got fully adjustable uh, shocks on here. Moving on back, we've got our centrally mounted servo on there. You'll see the EC5 connector leading to that 60 amp ESC. More to the point, check out that SR6000 receiver, guys. Six channels. AVC included with it. They normally retail for 60 to 65 bucks a piece on there. Centrally mounted battery, uh, which combined with this brushless uh, motor on it, will push this thing to over 50 miles an hour top speed. It is a huge bang for your buck. Okay, in the gear case there, we've got all metal gears all round on the car, guys. Again, very, very good. And then tucked away down there is the brushless 3300 kV dynamite motor. And we've got a substantial rear impact bumper there as well. And again, adjustable shocks on the rear of the car. If you're looking for an alternative to the Traxxas Slash BXL, stop looking. You've just found it. Anyway, scanning down the chassis, we've got a nice substantial impact bumper there. Substantial A-arms as well. Aluminum bracing plate under the front of the chassis. Centrally mounted uh, battery which loads from underneath. Aluminum plate bracing the rear chassis as well. And time for a quick suspension test on it. At the front, first of all, lift that front wheel until the rear just begins to lift. And we've probably got a good three inches of clearance there at the front. And very nice, very, very nicely damped and sprung as well. Anyway, let's check out the travel on the rear, which is traditionally a little bit less on all of these cars. Lift that rear until the front wheel just begins to lift. And we're about two inches of travel on the rear. But I'm expecting this should be just as well. And that's beautifully damped. That thing is going to be like a monster on the track. That is not bottoming out in a hurry at all. Well, guys, I have to say the low seat 22S Maxxis SCT has definitely caught my attention. And when I'm seriously thinking about buying, I do love my low seat cars. And this one is definitely no exception to it. Very, very impressed. It, like every car down here at JJ Customs, including all these other short course trucks down here, is available for you to come and look at. They're all out of the boxes, so you can come down and have a good poke around them, just as I have done with this one before making your purchasing decision. Anyway, if you like this review, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell. For more details on this low C 22S Maxxis SCT uh, brushless truck with ABC, do give JJ Customs a call or ideally get down there to San Jose and see them in person.